today? The day before Christmas Eve? Which is the 30th of December? Alright. I said Christmas Eve. New Year's Eve. What the fuck? So, we want to go get tested for COVID on the 28th. Today's the 30th. We got our results back. And they came back positive for the first time ever. So, of course... Oops. Of course, we did what we needed to do and, you know, started telling everybody. And now everybody's like freaking out. And then trying to say that we're blaming you know, them. We're not blaming anybody. And yes, freaking out is not going to do anything. We're not blaming anybody. As a whole, It could have been anybody. That's why we're not blaming any specific group of people. Like, it literally could have been anybody because we were around a lot of people, you know? And we did get too fucking comfortable and take our mask off. And we were around a sick baby, though. That's what that'd be now. That's the only sick person that was really sick around us. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna send that to the group chat. She's one, though. It doesn't matter. Like they say, babies can easily spread it more than us. That's and true. we don't know what they're around and what they do all the damn time. Mm, that's true. No, I don't say nothing. Nope. No, I don't say nothing. Seriously. I'm over it. Like you said, we already told everybody. Forget about it now. <clears throat> I've decided, and no one is going to remove me from this thought because it's just stuck now. If nobody wants to get tested after we told them what we told them, even if you got the fucking shot, I don't give a fuck. You can still go get tested. Nobody wants to go get tested. Nobody's about to see me. Which means nobody's going to see my baby. Which means nobody's going to see my husband. <laughs> so, you see how we come as a whole. <sighs> so, I'm really about to be... On my own. And this is where I grow up. <laughs> we got tested December 6th. The results came back negative. We got tested again December 20th. The results came back negative. Christmas happened. We got tested on 28th. Results came back positive. I knew we got tested three times this month. I was just... Like, I needed to find the emails, though, to confirm it. And I fucking confirmed it. We got tested right before Christmas. Right after Christmas. So that's really annoying. But it lets us know that... Somebody gave us COVID. We just don't know from which house... What's up y'all, it's Sunday. The fan is on. I don't feel like turning it off. Martin's still asleep. Which is cold and shit. I'm about to start cleaning. But I think I'm gonna start with the boxes. Cause I just wanna see how the living room would look with less clutter. Like I just wanna see that. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how everything is looking. It's a little disorganized, really. I washed my hair the other day, so that's what that is. Um, I'm about to be up in here because we got clothes that are done being washed. I washed her clothes and they need to go into the dryer. And the dryer has clean clothes, got a pile of dirty clothes. This is what the living room is looking like. That's why I kind of want to go through all of this stuff right here. Got more fucking clean clothes. Um, this is what our room is looking like right now. Just crazy. Even my side is crazy. Cause we've been trying to like recover and shit, you know? Look. 
kitchen. It normally does not look like this. We got clean dishes in there that we have to put away. Just crazy. But today is deep cleaning day. And I told him we're doing this all day, so he can get up whenever he gets up, but we need to be done by five. So now we officially have 14 days until the due date. So we need to get back and going. Um, Martin actually last night he couldn't smell or taste so let me put that on the calendar i've been keeping track of our tent thing i think it was i think it was monday night skateboard on the floor and they put a basket on top of it and stood on top of it and then I heard a crack so I'm thinking maybe he cracked the basket whatever but no he chipped my skateboard and it's not that I was mad about it I'm not mad about like he, he doesn't understand why I'm upset I'm not mad about this that, I'm pretty sure yeah that was bound to happen I'm mad at the fact that he saw it and didn't say anything like, oh shit, my bad. Or, oh, I'm sorry, this was an accident. Or he, or he, or he didn't see it. Or he didn't see it. And then I told him about it. What is putting our problems on the internet going to do? You better not post that. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You be posting on Snapchat all the time. And thought, as soon as you guys get the concept of understanding stuff, you guys will be okay. Honestly, I don't know if it was, like, ever there. Because she had me fresh out of high school, you know? And she was always involved with somebody. She never really, like, took the time to herself. You know, like, she, there was no growing up. But like they say, really? you lay in the bed, you make it. You know what comes with having sex, giving men consent to do things, knowing that men are sneaky, and then still five kids weren't a lesson, or I guess four, biological, one adopted. Yes, they're all spread it out. Cool. After you and Ani after you and Leah. But she still took that risk. She still took up the responsibility of choosing Quran. Like. Exactly. After you knowing and Leah, 
that it was her brother's On child. top of that, him and his siblings aren't even growing up together. The reason why my mom made sure me, I took me, even though she could have said no, was because she already had my sister. She already had my sister. So she told me, I want you and your sister to grow up together. I didn't want you in foster care. Quran's not going through that. Quran is separated from his real brothers right now. Yeah, he was with Paris, but my mom couldn't handle Paris. And then she was saying what she kept saying. She was asking us how, you know how she came in and said that she can't handle Quran no more? Like she was just about to give up on it? Because she doesn't ever try. She lets him do whatever he wants. She literally lets him do whatever he wants. Do. She lets him scream at the top of his lungs. She, so... Literally, say, stay in your room. Don't come out. Go in her room knowing he'll literally leave his room, come downstairs all surprised, and then look at him, and then Quran, when I asked Quran, Quran, didn't your mom say you're supposed to be in your room? Yeah, well, yeah. But, but she came down here and looked at me and didn't say nothing. Did she ever tell you to come out? No. So why the fuck are you still down here? Because she came downstairs, saw him, and didn't care. And she didn't say nothing to you, right? That doesn't mean you're off punishment, nigga. Go back to your room. But that lets him know. She doesn't that care. She doesn't care. I feel bad for your little sibling because, and I feel bad for her because you guys already realized the bullshit. She thinks that, oh, I just raised two disrespectful daughters and they're pieces of shit. They get attitudes and they always say that. And I tell them all the time that I gave them these things. You're supposed to, you're a mother. You're supposed to give them these things. They need it. Now, you didn't have to give him everything you want. You could have stepped in, drew the line, and gave him some humbleness. Not saying you guys aren't. But you could have came in, drew the line, and said, no, if you want this, earn it. I'm not giving it to you. But she didn't do that. She had a part of her where she just probably didn't want her childhood to be the same as yours, but was too friendly with it, and then put the foot down. And now she thinks that her two daughters are just attitudinous, disrespectful kids. When the other three are about to be the same way because she's showing them that one, when they do something serious, she'll just say something, hopefully it gets fixed, and then just throws it. There is no reper there is no consequence to what they've done. There is no chore to what they've done. Like Anissa will she'll literally yell Anissa's name five times. And Anissa will still have her phone. I didn't get my first phone until 17. My mother would not have to call me five times. Maybe twice. But if she had to call me more than that, she's in my room, in my face. Are you ignoring me? Are you stupid? Do your ears work? Give me this. Since you, since you can't hear me, you'll get it back when you start listening again. Is she doing that? No. It's, uh, just get out of my face. Okay, I'm going to go back on my room and just chill and do what I want more. Ooh. Not my ringtone? Yeah. I don't have that ringtone. And then she wrapped up my comment. I don't give a fuck. So I wanted to film this because um that shit's fucking weird. My husband has the utmost respect for any mother, period. Like anybody. I, I really he, do. He my really does. Oh yeah, yes. Hold on. He really does. He had so much respect that he didn't, he wasn't going to say anything. He was trying to push me to talk to my mother. And I kept telling him, I've been trying to talk to her for years, but you know what? I hear you. I'm going to try again. You know, he uh, has so much respect that he just sat and observed the whole time that we lived over there with her. Cause I mean, she's given us a roof. She's given us food. He respected her, you know, even up until now. And he still does respect her. It's just now we're about to have her our own baby. And what the initial argument was, we're just, we just can't. We can't bring your grandchild. Our child is not going to go to your house because you still continue to do what you've been doing with me, which is. Yes, you are my mother. Yes, I love you. Yes, I respect you. Yes, you raised me. But somewhere along the line, you gave up. Because as I got older, 
you put more responsibility on me to take care of my siblings than you putting yourself in that position to take care of them. <laughs> you had me and Leah so close in age that once you had Anissa and Gary, it was on us two to take care of them while you went out and lived your life because <clears throat> you didn't get to live your life because you had me. But that was your decision. So how is that my fault? Why do I have to take care of your kids so you can go have fun? You wanted to put your life on pause, so take responsibility for that and stop putting me and Leah in charge of taking care of your kids. Now, Leah left first and then I left. Now it's Anissa. Anissa is the oldest. She is barely a freshman. And then there is Gary and Karan. They are nine and eight. Now it's Anissa's responsibility. And she doesn't even see, like she doesn't even see what she does. I was talking to my grandma about it and my grandma was like, yeah, yeah, it was like your mom was always gone, you know? Like you and Leah were always watching them. Yes, the fuck we were and now it's Anissa. But I told Anissa, I said, if mom is trying to go out somewhere and trying to get you to watch them, don't do it. Literally just do what you would normally do, which is be in your room. You're not responsible for watching them. You're not. You're not their mother. And quite frankly, you're not their eldest sister either. But even if you were, it's not your responsibility. And I just wanted to throw in there that there's this one time that when me and Mario were staying with my mom, um, she was already out at night, you know, doing whatever she was doing. Um, and me and Marin had to leave. Like we were going to my sister, Taina, she was having like a little graduation food get together at my dad's house. So we were headed to that, but before we left, we noticed somebody was being weird in the neighborhood. So we um, texted my mom and we were like, hey, somebody's been weird in the neighborhood. Me and Marin are about to leave. Like, where are you at? Can you come back? And she was like, Anissa's there. Anissa at the time was 13 fucking years old. And she's like, no taller than me. Anissa's there? What? What do you mean? What the fuck is this little 13 year old about to do if somebody breaks into the house? Where are you at? Matter of fact, I should have taken Anissa with me and they left the boys there. Then she would have really had to come back. If there is a fire in the backyard, okay, call the fire department, but that's not your responsibility. Well, why didn't you watch them? Why didn't you know that they were setting shit on fire? Where, why didn't you know they were setting shit on fire, mom? Where were you at? That's just an example. Dang, she's still texting? I'm not about to suit. I'm not put on the side to kiss nobody's ass, especially not yours. Now I see why you are the way you are. What? Y'all have a great one to my daughter Janina. Please come and get your vehicle in 24 hours. I'm at a, I'm a stay at your lane. You know you're gonna be a great mother. Take care of yourself. I don't know. Um. Now the car I'm not putting that we had towed to her house that she said we can keep there because we have an apartment complex, so it's really just gonna be sitting here. Now we have to go get it. If we don't go get it, she's gonna call a tow truck to go get it. Now we gotta pay $500 plus daily fees to go get that car. Because she's mad that she's reaping what she sowed. She's mad that now somebody on the outside is saying something to her, even though I've already talked to her, but I'm her daughter. So I guess is. she doesn't really actually see it. She's not actually hearing me. And now she's offended because somebody on the outside said something. I can't leave it at my grandma's house because if it's leaking, I don't want to leave it in her driveway. 
I don't think it is leaking, but I still don't want to leave it in her driveway. Oh, it's my mom's driveway. Leave it at her house. Like on the side. Here's the after video. Uh, it's not completely done yet. Yes, our mattress is stained because I was high and I uh, fell asleep with the big flurry in my hand right here. That was like years ago. And then over there, Martin spilled fucking juice on the bed. Um, yeah, it's a little more cleaned up. What? We don't have any drawers for her yet, so I just put these in the bag and I just I would just wash those ones, and those ones are. They're fine. I washed those ones because they were in the closet and um, there was like water damage in the closet from the water heater. And there's like bugs and stuff. So I just, I wanted to reclean it. But yeah, these are all his clothes still. Stuff is still washing, but you know, we vacuumed up in here. It's definitely way more organized. It's a little chaotic right there, but it still looks good. Um, I organized her stuff. So <laughs> Newborns are over there with her stuff. Eh. The bathroom is nice and cleaned up. Martin did that. Uh. We still have the sheets to wash, the stuff in the dryer we gotta put away. Um, this will be washing the sheets. We normally like to keep that clean. We got stuff in the washer. So he's gonna finish that up because I need to rest, I'm tired. My back is hurting and she literally feels like she's getting lower by the second. He'll take that out later. He just took some out earlier today. And right now he's making a late lunch. So we're probably gonna eat a late dinner. Not sure yet what it's gonna be. Probably cereal. And I'm waiting for him to finish cooking. Then I'm gonna eat and we're gonna watch the Cell Saga.